So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video. This one is going to be amazing. I am going to show you how you can create PowerPoint reports, Microsoft Word reports using Power BI data and Excel visualizations and have them update automatically. How cool is this? Let's get started. So first of all, let me give proper credit to two data witches called Stephanie Bruno and Chanel Lindsay. They are the ones that came up with this solution on their blog, datawitches.com. I will post a link down below. Go and give them a follow. They published how to do this in February 2021 already. So really useful, really cool, really simple to set up. Let me show you. Okay, there are a few ways you can do this. You can start from Power BI, a report that you like, that you want to use, for example, for your finance reporting. And then you can go here to export and analyze in Excel. This will work, no problem. You can also start already from a blank Excel. And I'm going to show you how. So this is the file that will open when you click analyze in Excel. And this is a people table. You have to enable all this stuff. So you can actually access the underlying data. So it's on Power BI. And then you can see here that you have the model with everything in there. Another way you can do it is to go to uh, data, get data from Power BI. And then you can connect, you see you get the Power BI icon and then you can connect to any data set that you like. So either way will work. You don't need to do this from Power BI, but you can connect from a Power BI data set from Excel. Not sure which version this get data works from, but certainly the last, you know, the latest one does work. I know that for sure, but I'm not sure how back backwards compatible it is. So let's create uh, the visualization that we're going to use for our reports. Obviously, you can create as many visualizations as you like, as you can connect to the same data set multiple times and create different pivot tables, or you can create different visualizations from the same data set. I am going just to create a simple one. I'm going to get year as a filter, but we're not going to put it in there. We're going to do uh, year as rows, quarter number, and then I'm going to put sales. Now, remember when you're connecting to a Power BI data set, if you want to have a sales column as a measure, you need to have it as a measure, okay? So if you haven't done a measure for that column, it will appear as category or as text rather than number. So let's create a visualization from this. You go to data and you go to insert and then let's select the recommended chart. Here we have it, beautiful. Now let's change the color so it looks like Excel active, Excel, and then total sales. Okay, so now we have our chart. Beautiful. How do we move these to Word and PowerPoint? It's actually very, very, very easy. So if we start with PowerPoint, let's open a new PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so now let's open PowerPoint blank presentation and let's do a finance report presentation, right? And we're going to get... I think the design tips are getting better and better just to be able to give it a, a like better look and feel of things. Uh, so just pick one that you enjoy. Let's get to this one for example. New slide. And here we're going to put our total sales chart. Obviously you can put any takes that you want. And how do you bring the, tech, the chart from Excel into here? Let me show you. So we are going to go here. We're going to save these into OneDrive or SharePoint because if we do that, the Excel file will keep the connection with Power, Power BI and it will update once you open it or you can actually refresh it whenever you want. You can go to data and refresh all and it will go and connect to Power BI and refresh, which is absolutely wonderful. So let's save it on OneDrive. And now to copy this into PowerPoint, you just select the chart, Control C to copy, you go to PowerPoint, and then you go to Home, Paste, Paste is Special, and you have to choose Paste Link, don't miss that, and then Microsoft Excel Chart Object. 
and it says here that it will refresh if the charge changes. Get rid of this one and open it up. So this chart will change when the underlying Excel chart changes. Let's put some filters in here. You can actually see it in action. So I'm going to insert a slicer that is going to be one for year and another one for the quarter. Make sure that you have selected the field list. So you have to have the um, pivot table selected then you have to see the panel and then you can click on slicer otherwise you won't get it and then you go to quarter number and then here we have year and quarter so let's pick 97 98 only so here we have them save and now let's go to powerpoint you see that it hasn't changed it happened to me before when i was doing the demo let's do one thing i'm going to save it into onedrive 2 and then I'm going to close it and open it again. So I'm opening it now, and then you will see this update link. So what I discover is sometimes PowerPoint needs to be closed and open in order to, for the connection to be properly made. But once it's made it, it will update correctly. So now you see the two years only. If I go back to my chart and I pick only two quarters, you know, now it has properly linked this stuff. So if you close it and open it, it will always ask you for update links and it will work. But while you are defining it, you might find that sometimes it doesn't really update. So close it and open it again. So now let's try Word. So here we have a Word document. We're going to pick a blank document. We're going to give it a little bit of a head. So it looks a little bit pretty. And we are going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go here and copy the chart and go to Word and paste it in there. You go to Home, Paste, Paste Special. And then what I found that worked best, it was this Microsoft Office graphic object. The other one didn't work too well. I'm going to save it as a Word Save. And now if we change it, Go back to Word, you have everything. I found that in Word, it worked a little bit better than in PowerPoint because I didn't need to open it and close it. But still, you will close and open this document either way, so it will refresh properly. So imagine you do a financial report for, for a month, for a week, you put the charts that you want, you build it, and it will refresh. So the only thing that you will have to do is maybe to go through the chart and give some wording insights to it if needed. Otherwise, you have your reporting done. It is absolutely fabulous. Thank you, Data Witches. Make sure you go and subscribe to their blog. They do amazing things, okay? So this is all for me for today. I will see you tomorrow with a cool charticular video on Data Corval Data Labs, and I will see you on Thursday with a truly amazing short trick. See you soon.